Now today, I'm coming to you from central Illinois, which has been called, and rightfully so, Lincoln Country. And as I pass through this land, I cannot but think on the moral integrity, the moral fiber of our 16th president. And he went so far in his law profession, someone referred to him as Honest Abe, and rightfully so, because men, people around knew that they could count on his moral integrity. And there's a specific situation in the early days of the Civil War where that moral integrity would serve this nation in more ways than you can realize. What had happened was, in November of 1861, two Confederate dignitaries made their way from Charleston, South Carolina, to Havana, Cuba, to head their way to Britain and France in the hope of enlisting their aid against the United States and get Southern independence granted by those two nations, and recognized, that is. However, the ship was intercepted by the American Navy, the Northern Navy, and the dignitaries were taken off the ship and brought back to New York. People in New York were jubilant about this. However, people in Britain were not. They were quite furious by the matter. And what happened was, this was something that went directly against the treaty that we had signed with Great Britain, where in the War of 1812, that's one of the things that caused the war in the first place, in that the people of uh, the British violating mar maritime laws and seizing our ships illegally. And the, one of the conditions of the peace was that the British and the United States agreed to leave each other's merchant and civilian fleets alone. And this particular event, called the Trent Incident, directly violated that. Where people were quite happy here, London was all up in arms. They put the Atlantic fleet on high alert and they sent 9,000 troops straight to Canada. And there were some on, in this kind of part of the country who were okay with the idea. <laughs> uh, Secretary of State Seward had the attitude of, Oh, come on, we can take them! President Lincoln calmly responded the way he usually did, one war at a time. And so on Christmas Day, 1861, President Lincoln released the Confederate dignitaries to British custody with a full formal apology to the British government for having violated treaty. And the British were floored by this. Up until that situation, most people in Britain did not think the United States could act honorably. So by through this event, it actually began earning British respect for people on this side of the lake and would start a series of events which would actually help strengthen relations between the United States and Great Britain by the end of the Civil War. More on that to come.